Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, and if you're back, welcome back y'all. Today we have a special video because I am going through all of my lip liners, you guys. Look at all these. I need to do a massive declutter of these and I wanted to take you along with me as I go through these lip liners figure out which ones I want to keep and which ones I need to get rid of because some of these are very, very old. And yeah, let's just go through them together. But before we do, I invite you to subscribe if you've not done so already. I'd love to have you here. We talk a lot about luxury beauty from new to old and everything in between. So I invite you to subscribe. I invite you to like and comment. Would love to chat with you about your favorite types of lip liners in the comments below. But with Without further ado, let's go ahead and go through these. All right, we are gonna go through all these lip liners. I know there's a lot of them. There's a lot to get through. I'll try to swatch them for you too so that you can see what they look like. I have to say my favorite lip liner right now that I have been using is this brand new Chanel lip liner. This is the new Chanel lip liner. This is in the shade Nude Brun. I love the formula. I love the shade. I think it's a great lip liner and it's just beautiful on the lips as just a nude, like a brownie nude shade and it's so good. So I'm definitely keeping that one. There's another one in the same formula that I absolutely love, which is this one here. This is in Rouge Noir. And this one here is a little bit deeper and great for kind of the fall berry tones. I love this too. So, so pretty on, really good. So I'm keeping that one. Another one that I want to keep are these from Makeup Forever. Makeup Forever has such great lip pencils. They have, these artist color pencils are some of my favorite pencils here. I just think they're so, so good. This is in the shade Up and Down Tan. It reminds me some of the Pillow Talk liner which I do have and I am gonna keep because I do like that one as well. It's funny because I'm like going through all the ones I know I wanna keep first and then we'll go through kind of the ones that I don't know if I wanna keep. So this is the Pillow Talk. The Pillow Talk is actually quite more pink than that up and down tan one, but I do like this one too. And I do like the formula of Charlotte Tilbury's lip liners. So that was the Pillow Talk. I actually have two Pillow Talks here, which I'm gonna keep. And oh, I have the Pillow Talk Medium. This is a quite a little bit deeper of a shade here. I love this too. It's kind of got that kind of mauve blue undertone. They're good, they're really good. This Victoria Beckham one. This is her lip liner. I bought this a while back. It's really nice. It is in shade 05. This has a 24 month shelf life, so I am going to keep this one. It's not that old. And this one is definitely a richer brown shade, which I personally prefer in a lot of lip liners. <laughs> I love the brown one. Okay, let's get into ones I know I'm not keeping. So these are actually discontinued. These are the old Chanel formula. These are discontinued, so I'm not gonna swatch them here. Let's see, where's the other one? And this one too. Y'all, this formula was awful. It was not good at all, and I just personally did not like this, so these are definitely getting rid of these. And I hate that I have three of them to get rid of, but it is what it is. So I have these Buxom. These are so old, you guys. The Buxom one in Hush Hush. I just really like the shades of this. There's Hush Hush right here. Really pretty kind of blue undertone shade here. Really pretty. It actually looks a lot like Pillow Talk. That's Pillow Talk like right beside it. Isn't that crazy? So that's Hush Hush. I am getting rid of that one because it is old. Both of these are old. And this is Cognito. So this is the Cognito shade and this is quite kind of nude. And I'm just not wearing that nude of a lip liner plus it's old too. I'm definitely into browns for this fall and winter and things like that. Getting rid of that one. Oh, I, I do like this one. This is the Thrive Cosmetics lip liner. This is in the shade Khaki and this is so nice. I do like this lip liner. I love the richness of it. It's very smooth, very, it doesn't pull or anything like that, which is nice. So I am keeping that one. MAC. 
So this is Dervish. Look, I'm trying to swatch it. I think it's just old, guys. It's just old and dried out. There's so many other adult liners that I'm really liking right now. And uh, uh, MAC is just not the brand I'm, I'm really kind of reaching for these days. There's another one in Soar. That is that one. It's okay. You know, it's just nothing exciting for me. Let's see. Bite Beauty has, this is an old, this is too old, you guys. Now, I don't know if, if they still have their lip liners available. Remember, they, I think they were getting rid of them or whatnot, but this one's super old and I need to definitely, definitely declutter this one. Ooh, okay. This is a good one, you guys. This is minted. I just recently picked this one up. This is the minted peach lip pencil and it looks like this. It is so good. I really enjoy this. It's definitely on the peachy side. I need to pull it out actually for kind of this fall season or whatnot because I feel like this would be a great lip liner for kind of peachy, peachy tone. Definitely keeping that one. Oh, Pat McGrath. This one was so disappointing. Look, I can't even swatch it. Look, it dried out so fast and uh, it's just... That's sad, isn't it? I don't know what was wrong with this one. I personally did not get along well with this particular one, but a lot of people love her lip liners, but that one for me did not make the cut and I am getting rid of it. And I haven't tried many of her lip liners at all actually since trying that one. Bobbi Brown has some great lip liners, you guys. This is the one in red. That's the name of it here. It is so good. I really like their lip liners a lot. Great for holiday here. I'm keeping, definitely keeping that one. And here's another MAC one in nice and spicy. So this one is better from a formula standpoint. I feel like this is a different formula. This is the Pro Longwear Lip Pencil Formula. I don't, I think the other one was just a lip crayon like pencil, but this is so nice. I, I might keep this one. I don't think it's that old. I don't think it is. Mm. How many months does it say to keep? Hmm, doesn't say. I don't know. I might get rid of it. I'm not quite sure how old it is. I think it's a lot older than I think it is, so I might declutter this one as well. Some of my favorite lip liners. Now, I do love, y'all know I love Luxury Beauty, but I will tell you this lip liner by M Milani is a favorite lip liner of mine, you guys. It is so good. This is in the name Spice. This is the type of lip liner. It is called the Color Statement Lip Liner, True Instant Color. That is the name of it and it's so, so good. I found this particular one at Ulta, but I'll try to find it for you guys and link below. They're really hard to find. It's the one in the pencil, the one you can sharpen. You'll notice that a lot of the ones I keep are the ones that I can sharpen because I like being able to get a sharp point on them. Oh, this is an eyeliner, y'all. <laughs> I need to put that in my eyeliner bin. Okay, so this is the Mauve Wayne Gloss Pencil. Um, guys, I have to be honest with you. I am kind of on the fence about this pencil. I just bought it, but look, it's just, it's okay for me. I wish it was a bit more smooth. I do. I really do. It's, it's quite, it's not dry, but it's not super smooth. There's something about it that I do like with this formula because you can definitely have it stay longer because it isn't super smooth. Do you know what I mean? But I'm still trying it out. I'm going to keep it to continue to test it. I'm just, I'm just not sure. I'm not sure guys. I haven't bought another one. It's not like I'm, it's a definite hundred percent love this, but I do want to try it out and kind of really get more thoughts about it because I'm just not knowing. I don't know. Oh, this one's so good, you guys. Oh, uh, this new sticks. This is the Lip and Cheek Pencil in Mystic, you guys. Look at this. How gorgeous. It has like a sheen to it, too. I love this. It's a little bit more of a pink undertone rather than brown, but I do like this. I think it's really pretty for just an everyday nude. Shantakai has this beautiful lip liner, and this is in the shade Natural. This is beautiful, too. It kind of resembles this Nude Sticks one in a way, but I do love this. 
this. It's so, so nice and real easy. What I like about this one compared to like Wayne Goss, so this is what I'm saying. This one is not super emollient. It's kind of like that in between being emollient to where it doesn't pull, but stiff enough to where you feel like, ooh, this color is really gonna stay. Does that make sense? I'm really liking this one. Okay, this is a Tatcha lip liner. So this is in the shade A Cherry Blossom. It is beautiful. I mean, Tatcha, can make a lip liner, you guys. This is gorgeous. All these are like the same shade. Y'all can kind of tell what lip liners I go towards, right? Oh my goodness, it is smooth as butter. Definitely keeping that. All right, so this is one I'm on the fence about. It's a lip liner by Clinique. It's good, it's really good, a good consistency. It is an intense cayenne 04. I actually might keep this because it is a different shade, a good shade for spring and summer. What do you guys think? I think I should keep this one for sure. It's one of those twist up ones, which I'm just not the biggest fan of, but I'm gonna keep it. Oh, these used to be so good, these NYX liners, but this one's just not that great. It's okay, but it's not my favorite. I don't reach for it. I need to declutter it. This Double Wear Estee Lauder lip liner, you guys, is not bad, but the finish is what I don't like. It's got this kind of metallic finish, and I don't know if you can see kind of that shine on it. Yeah, it's just, uh, I don't like that at all. I like more of a matte or kind of creamy look. This is definitely metallic and it's definitely going. I don't remember the last time I used this one, honestly. Oh, here is another lip liner of my favorite formula by Milani. These are so good, you guys. I love this lip liner. Color Statement Lip Liner. This is in 03 Nude. This is kind of more of a pink berry undertone here and I like this. It's pretty. Y'all, I wish I liked this one. It's kind of just okay. You know, just one of those ones that's just okay. It's the Bare Minerals Gen Nude in Borderline. It's good. It's not like the best one ever. I needed to clutter it. I don't reach for it. I wanted to like this one by L'Oreal so badly, but it's definitely got that sheen to it as well. This is the Age Perfect. Anti-Feathering Lip Liner by L'Oreal. This is in the shade Bright Mocha. It's very reflective, and I don't, I'm trying to see if you can see it, how it goes. Definitely has that sheen. Not my favorite. This is a Milani one, but it's definitely different. It's a retractable pencil one. Definitely not my favorite by Milani. This is in most natural, more brownie in tone. I love the ones you can sharpen a lot better, honestly. It's nice, but I don't reach for this one either, and I prefer the ones you can sharpen definitely over this one. So getting rid of that one. Last but not least, this is a NYX lip liner. I bought a good bit of NYX ones when I heard someone talk about how good they were, but I'm just, I like others better, honestly. This is in a very, very kind of pink ballet nude color. It is called Nude Suede Shoes. It's nice, but it's, you know, there's just ones I like better, and this one isn't like the perfect nude for me. Honestly, I feel like it's a little pink. It's just not one I reach for, in all honesty, so I'm going to declutter this one as well. All right, y'all, these are all the ones I am keeping here, and these are the ones I am decluttering. So I feel good about this, a good, through, you know, a good bit of these that I'm just gonna get rid of. It's been a long time. This is a desperate need over here. So I appreciate you guys watching. I hope that you guys like this. Let me know if you like the style of video. I'd love to know if this is something that you enjoy, enjoy watching. Did you enjoy the swatches? Let me know in the comments below. Like I said, I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for watching. I invite you to subscribe if you have not done so already. I'll leave my latest video right here and I'll see you over there. Bye y'all.